Hello, Team Leo. It's Empire333 here with your love reading. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. I hope you're all well and safe. Thank you for all your likes, your subscribes, shares, comments. I appreciate all your love and support and booking personal readings with me. It's greatly appreciated. So those of you who are new, welcome. And... What should I say? Okay, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements, okay? And also, for those of you who are new, I do extended readings for further advice. So if this resonates with you, you can follow me. The link will be down below under this video. Um, and you can purchase that. I made it affordable for everyone. And yeah, okay. That's it. That's my spiel, okay? I want to keep it short, sweet. So, Leo, when it comes to this romantic love, you and your person keep repeating a cycle, okay? So, it's kind of like both of you are at this point where something keeps happening. It's the same thing that keeps happening. So, there's some type of, um, what is it called? Repetitive pattern you both keep going through okay so it's like every time you both get together or it could be a conversation something keeps repeating okay and it's the cycle that needs to be broken is what spirit is telling me here okay so oh those of you who don't know um if i extend this reading it's because spirit guides me to do so okay so it's at closer to the end i'll let you know if i'm going to extend it because sometimes it's clear cut but other times spirit wants you to have advice on how to fix the situation how to mend it come together and also um i do predictions too okay in the extended so the thing here leo is that this connection has lost the innocence that it once had okay so both of you it's like it's this is the this is the um <clears throat> what I'm picking up. It's like both of you brought out the kid in each other. You both have a lot of fun when you're together, okay? In the past. But lately it's like it lost its innocence, you know, that playing of uh, the playfulness, you know, um this connection has gotten really serious lately, okay? There's no um, possibly the romance has been, you know, not really good, <laughs> lacking here. And it's like spirit is saying, like, what happened? What happened to this? What happened to you guys? Okay. Um, yeah. Even music. I feel like you both used to dance together for some of you. I know this is not going to resonate with all of you, but... I'm seeing you all having so much fun together in the past. Like, what happened to that, you know? And uh, there's not even flirting going on either. Like, both of you used to flirt with each other. There was this, like, high vibration. Um, and, like, I feel that that is what's missing, okay? It's not that there's no love here. It's just that the playfulness of this connection is no longer, okay? It's kind of, like, diminishing, all right. And that's what has to happen um, for it to be better. Um, but we'll get into more depth with this. But I do feel that this is really causing <clears throat> the cycle between you two. That's not pleasant for both of you. OK, it's not that, you know, Leo, you're mad and the person is not mad about it. OK, both of you don't like what's going on in the situation, even though I feel that you both are not expressing it, or you could be expressing it in a non-beneficial way, okay? What else, Spirit? I don't know why I'm just getting pain. I feel that both of you are in pain because of this. So you might feel like you're in pain, and your person might not be very expressive. So um, intuitively, I'm getting... This is about boundaries, okay? That's what Spirit is saying. This is about boundaries, okay? So let's get into your person's energy, Leo. I just got uh, 
um, boundaries need to be adjusted, okay? Boundaries. Okay. Yeah. Um, I feel that sometimes either you or your person, you say things to each other that come out really um, mean, okay, or rude. And then the other person or you, I'm getting more of the other person, like they just close out. You know, they close down, they shut down, or they leave, okay? So masculine energy here, or this this is your person, okay? I'm not going to do masculine feminine. That confuses people. This is your person, Leo, okay, with this deck. So let's see how your person is feeling. Yeah. Whoa. These are a lot of cards. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to take this. <laughs> okay, guys. So remember, I'm just a messenger, right? I'm just a channel. Okay, so your person here, they're taking a break, right? Um, I feel that some of you possibly don't have communication, but it will come through. But the thing is here is that every time you both have some type of, I'm getting an argument, okay? I feel like arguments are, you know, kind of getting normal for you both here. It's like your person pulls away because they don't know how to react to whatever is going on. They don't know how to um, process it, okay? And that's why they pull back and they start thinking about, okay, should I invest my time anymore into this connection? Is it ever going to work out? They start having doubts, okay, about this connection. But this person here, they just want things to be fair between you. They just want things to be fair, okay? And the other thing I'm getting with this is that <clears throat> it's like both of you keep going back and forth with what you say, okay? But it's not getting a, the positive outcome you want. So this person wants to balance out things. <clears throat> and unless you both can have a sit down, okay? And, you know, just be honest with one another about how you feel, then it's like the new beginning is not starting. So this is what I'm getting. This person's passion kind of like just, um, I don't want to say dies out, but it kind of like just, you know, how should I say it? They lose faith in this connection every time you both, you know, get into an argument. Okay, and for some people, it's like that is getting like to be the norm. It's not because you're arguing. It's because of the way you both communicate with one another. Okay, so when it comes to um, this person really sees you as an empress. Okay, doesn't matter if you're female or male watching. They see you as an empress. They fell in love. Oh, my God. This is so cute. They fell in love with your compassionate side, okay? They fell in love with your strong side where you could tame their ego, okay? But at the same time, I'm just going to say, because I'm keeping it real, Leo, it's like you tame this person's ego, but then when you get mad at this person, your ego is like, is like crying out, okay? When you both argue, so they're missing this person. They're missing the person who was compassionate, who was sweet, who was kind, who knew how to check them in a patient way is what Spirit just said. So maybe you're losing your patience. And that's why they're defensive because that's why they got their walls up. Like, listen, I'm tired of this. You know, um, where is my Leo? Okay, where is my Leo who you know, had it together is what I'm getting, okay? Had it together. So they could feel like, Leo, whatever's going on in your life, it's really affecting this connection. So maybe there's like responsibilities or you're spending your time with other things or whatnot. 
Um, let me know in the comments because I feel that when you both argue, it's not it's not beneficial. Spirit just keeps saying it's not okay. So spirit just said that it's it's not constructive criticism. So maybe you both are criticizing each other. Um, you have to, guys, it takes two, okay? Always remember that. Nobody's blaming each other here. Everything is about growing connections, growing your relationships, learning the way you are. It doesn't mean, when, pe when I say change, you got to change this, you got to change that. That means that those, whatever it is, is not being productive towards whatever you want, okay? It doesn't mean, oh, you're going to change into a different person. You're bad and I want you to change. It doesn't mean that, okay? Just keep that in mind. But I feel like this person really misses that. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh, wow. This person, whoever this is, Leo, that you're dealing with, they said that I just heard you they're saying you said some hurtful things to me. And it could be past stuff too. It doesn't have to be now. But you you said hurtful things to them. I'm not calling you all out, okay? So just think about that. Not that, you know, this person is a saint here, okay? I'm not saying that. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Hold on. All right, so this is you. This is your side. Oh, wow. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right, so... Yeah, look at this. The Five of Swords, like I said. It's like that egoic, egoistic, you know, thing. But you're coming out of that. I think you're realizing that, Leo. Um, you don't want to do that because you've realized it doesn't get anywhere that you want it to get. It's just this back and forth. It's this repetitive cycle. You both keep repeating. And now you're at the point where you don't want to make any impulsive moves, okay? You've learned. I feel like when this connection, you've learned that, <clears throat> you know, kind of charging in with whatever you got to say is not working, okay? You, you're you learning, by the way. You are. You're learning to be better when it comes to how you react with this person. And that's great. But there's something here. This is what I'm getting, okay? Okay. There's something here where it's like you want a change in this connection. You want to be, you know, um, you want to go into calmer waters with this person. You don't want to fight with them. You want peace, okay? But there's something from the past that is kind of blocking that, okay? So there's energies of the past that is keeping you from... Um, I'm getting a commitment, okay? So maybe some of you really want a commitment from this person. You want marriage, you want family, you want blend families, whatever it is, okay? So for some of you, this person could be like um, your baby mama, baby daddy, okay? But you want more, okay, is what I'm getting. So here, this is about you you're not making any moves right now because you know that things are not calm between you. You know that they're not peaceful, okay? But that's what you ultimately want. But the issue here is something from the past, maybe this person hurt you or you were hurt from the past and you can't get over a marriage or a partnership from the past, okay? That's what the blockage is for you getting your 10 of coins, okay? And some of you, this also has to do with money and how you, what you think of money energy, okay? Because how you think of money energy is how you're going to manifest it. So it's your mindset of how you make money, what money is, because money is just energy, okay? And that has a lot to do with how you energetically take care of yourself, okay? That's how you manifest money. It's really like energy management. Okay, is what I'm getting here. So this is about you. This is about you wanting this. And for some of you, it's like being blocked. That's how you feel. It's being blocked. Like, why can't we just be peace? 
why can't we just move forward whoa i just got like a ringing in my ears leo you might get a ringing in your ears that's your spirit guys trying to tell you something and for some of you i'm getting ancestors okay so i want you to look at your ancestors okay and see how what how they feel about money because money issue is really is really kind of off the energies of you making money is off for some reason okay and it's okay you know you could totally um change that around these are just energies right you can totally manipulate the energy okay so i won't get so much into that because i know you guys want to know about love right here but yeah this is making you confused because you have so many dreams um, you have goals, you have aspirations, and there's so many different things. And now you're thinking, okay, well, if this person is not going to, is keeps being defensive, we keep fighting or arguing, we're not getting anywhere, well, maybe I should go towards my dreams now, okay? For some of you, because you had kids, okay, this is not going to resonate with all of you because not all of you have kids, but it's kind of like your dreams were on hold because you had kids, Okay, life just got in the way. Where's my deck? Okay, so let's see what this person wants. The person you're dealing with. Who's got their walls up right now. Ah, oh, they miss your sweetness too. God, this person misses you. Okay. okay. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, man. Hold on, guys. Okay. Whew. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this person, I feel that they're not ready to talk right now, okay? Um, this is the thing. It's like this person realizes that you both are a soulmate connection. There's this soulful, it could be twin flame, soulmate, call it what you will, divine partnership here between you two. I feel that this person, you know how I said in the beginning, that this person like and you there's like was this childlike innocence the fun the happiness together it's been lost and this person is really feeling it in their you know very deep and they feel like this is going this is getting toxic between you two okay it's getting toxic so um and it makes this person fear more. It gets them in a fear mode where it's like, okay, if we can't even, you know, um, not argue or whatever it is or, you know, jab, throwing jabs at each other, how are we going to make this work? Okay. Even though they acknowledge this, there's emotions here. Some of you are actually questioning this person's emotions, but there are deep emotions you both feel. There is an emotional connection here, okay? So some of you could be feeling, oh, is it just, you know, um, intimacy or whatever, but it's that's not the case here, okay? This person misses the old you, and it's like the emotional you, the, the, the sexy you, okay? They miss that person that was confident, and they had it all going on. This is really magnetic energy, Leo. This person misses that about you, okay? Where it's like fun. You're fun and all that stuff, okay? They feel like you're no longer that person. They feel like you're no longer that, you know, caring person for them, okay? So I don't know what's going on. I'm just telling you how your person feels, okay? 
but I'm going to go into an extended with this reading. So if you resonate with this, don't forget to like this video. Let me know in the comments how you resonate with it. But if you want, you can. Ex I'm going to extend this reading. The video is down below, and I'm going to tell. Um, I'm going to tell. Oh my God! I just got a song. You lost that love and feeling. That's an old song. I forgot who sings it. You guys, let me know in the. You know, it's you lost that love and feeling. Whoa, that love. Okay. All right, guys, I haven't sang for a while, so <laughs> forgive my voice. <laughs> Anyways, Leo, I'm going to extend this. I'm going to say what, I'm going to tell you what this person's next actions are, what you should be doing if you want this person. For those of you who do not want this person, I'm going to also talk about what you should be doing. Okay, so it's all up in a package, and that will be in the extended. The link is down below. Leo, I wish you all the best and peace out.